Okay, um, again, for as I said, expressed the other day, for, for some time now, Joe has wanted to, to have an opportunity to express uh, his remorse for uh, the incident that occurred, uh, you know, a few years ago. So, um, working through it, you know, the last few days in, in his legal situation, the way it all has transpired, it's, it's finally time for him to, to have an opportunity to do that. So, Joe, if you want to come on up and uh, address everybody. Well, I'm here um, for a situation that occurred about two and a half years ago. Um, basically, I'm just here, you know, to basically apologize to Miss Molitor. Um, like I said, I'm here to apologize to Miss Molitor. I apologize to Coach Stoops. I apologize to, you know, President Bourne, the AD, my teammates. Um, most of all, you know, my family, uh, I let a lot of people down. I um, apologize to my mother. Um, my mother, you know, grow, growing up, Growing up, um, my mother, she used to work hard, you know, single parent, two brothers, three sisters, 16 nieces and nephews. They all look up to me. Um, like I said, um, you know, it's never, never, never okay. You know, you know, never, never okay to, you know, retaliate and hit a woman, you know, the way I did. And, you know, like I said, I'm here to apologize to everybody who was affected by, you know, my mother. Like I said, she worked hard and, you know, I disappointed her and, you know, she, she's my queen. And, you know, I apologize to your mom. Um, you mean everything to me. Um, family. But at this point, I'm willing to take anybody questions. For whoever got a question, I'm, you know, here to answer right now. Situation occurred, you were good enough. You could have gone anywhere in the country to transfer, but you decided to stay at OU. It might have been easier if you'd gone somewhere else, but you decided to stay here. So, talk about your decision to stay at OU. Man, honestly, you know, Coach Stoops, our academic program, you know, our coaches, our players, um, you know, President Bourne, they all forgave me, you know, what I did. Um, you know, some things came with it, you know, I had some things I had to do, you know, to, you know, fulfill a couple of requirements, um, to get back, you know, to have a second chance to get on a team. Um, and, you know, I had 100 hours of community service, um, had counseling, still, you know, to this day, seek it, you know, for my own benefit. Um, you know, I just, you know, whatever I'm trying to do, you know, they gave me an opportunity and a second chance. And like I said, I'm willing to, you know, do anything I could, you know, to, you know, make, you know, myself better, you know, as a person and, you know, player on the field. Um, you know, I had a couple, you know, older legal team, you know, to basically say, you know, Best to keep quiet at this point. I've been, you know, told them. I mean, it's always best, you know, I don't want to wait so long. But at the same time, I was advised, you know, to keep keep my mouth closed. And um, now I'm here, you know, to this day, you know, still trying to apologize. Could you talk about what the conversation was like with your mother, who obviously feeling bad because you affected her with this? Can you talk about when she saw that video, what that conversation was like? Um, 
honestly, I feel like that's kind of personal, you know, for my mother's sake. But, you know, I'm here to talk about, you know, that, that night. Um, like I said, you know, Miss Molitor, I apologize. Um, you know, if I had any chance, you know, I ask, you know, for your forgiveness. Um, and and that, that's the next question. So do you think that she should apologize to you? What do you think of that? Um, like I said, I'm here to do, you know, what's best for me. And, you know, and I felt like I, I had to get that out from my chest, you know, for the last 2.5 years. And that's what I'm doing now. Joe, I released the video when you did. And did, were you, Bob said he wished that it would have come out sooner. Did you wish that it would have come out sooner? Um, yes, I definitely wish it would have came out sooner. Um, you know, for the best of everybody. But at the same time, you know, I can't do nothing but thank Coach Stoops, you know, for the second chance he gave me. Um, can't do nothing but thank, you know, President Boren and my teammates, you know, for, you know, sticking by me, you know, doing whatever they could. Was that, how difficult was it that year you were suspended to hang it over you, to not be a part of the football team in any way? How difficult was that first year here at OU? Um, well, it was very difficult. It was tough. Um, honestly, it haunted me, still haunts me till this day. You know, I dream about it. You know, if I could, you know, I, if I could go back, I'd do whatever I could, you know, to change the, you know, the outcome of that situation. Um, definitely would have walked or ran away and went about the situation differently. I wouldn't have been in that situation. Um, and now I wouldn't be in that situation, and that's pretty much about it. Joe, what do you want the fans to know about the person that they saw in that video two years ago compared to the person that fans here now, and how did you change? Well, at the time, like you guys know, I was 17, 18 years old. Um, I was young. Um, right now, I'm 20 years old. I've grown up a lot, you know, over these past two and a half, three years that I've been at OU. And like I said, I can't do nothing but, you know, thank Coach Stoops, you know, for, you know, giving me a second chance and having me prove to everyone that, you know, I deserve it. How much did you lose on your teammates during the last two and a half years and just how did they, they helped you through this? Man, my teammates, man, they... My teammates... They know how much they mean to me. Like, you know, all the leaders, you know, people that's not leaders, they mean they mean so much to me. They, you know, they didn't did everything they could, you know, everything that, you know, I ever asked for, you know. You know, they basically guided me, you know, led me in the right direction, you know, and did whatever I could, you know, basically to, you know, lead, you know, in the way I do, you know, on and off the field, and I try to do whatever I can. You know, just to be a leader, and you know that's what our coaches teach. You know, on and off the field, be a leader, and you know that's you know what I'm willing to do. I've been doing it for the last two years, ever since the incident, and you know I'm still looking to do it even more. You watched video of the uh, of the incident shortly after it occurred. What what was going through your mind? Um, I, I mean, honestly, like I said, we're here to talk about that night. And I apologize to Miss Molitor again, and you know, admit, like I apologize. I regret what happened, and I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how else to put it. You originally told police that Miss Molitor started it by blowing smoke in your face. Do you stand by that? Um, honestly, it really don't matter, you know, what she did that night. Um, it's all on me, you know, the reason why, you know, I'm in this position right now, and I take full responsibility on what happened um, that night. And it's never okay, you know, to hit a woman, never. And, you know, I will preach that to anybody. It's never okay. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, people around the world, you know, learn, you know, from my mistake, and I'm willing to teach. So you talked about the community service and uh, the counseling that you had to go through as part of your, your plea. Um, can you talk about how those uh, those things have helped you uh, over the last couple of years? And I, I think you mentioned that you're still going through some counseling. Yeah, I'm still, you know, seeking out counseling. Um, I mean, it's, I've done, you know, a well job, um, you know, at least, you know, what they tell me. Um, 
I appreciate you know them working with me. Um, you know we worked out, we worked a lot, and we didn't did everything you know we had to do you know to come this far. And I feel like um, from what they say, you know I've done a good job from it. How has being on campus been for you since? Do you think that staying with this football team, the second chance that Coach Stoops gave you, do you think it really helped you grow? How, how did that help you redeem yourself with, with this process? Well, you know, honestly, it helped me grow a lot. Um, mentally, you know, physically and emotionally, and I got to know a lot about myself over these last, you know, two and a half years. You know, when times get tough, you know, never give up, you know, on yourself. Um, you know, lean on the people that's there for you. Um, and like I said, I, I honestly, you know, grateful for my second chance, and like I said, I never gave up, and, you know, just keep going from there. Now, were, you, were you aware what this did to your reputation the year or two after it happened. I mean, why I asked about why release it on Friday, you're going through, probably get some feedback from the NFL. Are you learning more and more about how this has affected the, the perception that people have of you? Man, honestly, um, I'm not worried about the NFL right now. Um, I'm totally right now committed to the team. Um, I haven't made a decision. I'm focused on January 2nd on, you know, beating Auburn. Joe, you had an incident with a parking attendant about a month ago. How, can you tell us anything about that? Or I mean, I made, first off, I mean, I made a mistake. Um, shouldn't have ripped the ticket and threw it on the ground. Um, I mean, that's on me, and I apologize, you know, to the, you know, the woman that I affected right there. And I mean, that's it. Joe, have you ever hit a woman at any other time in your life? No, ma'am. When the video came out and the public saw it, you, you had to return to practice and you guys have been practicing for the Sugar Bowl since. Have you been able to focus? Has it affected practice at all? Has practice, has practice been the same for you? You know what, it's, it's affected me a lot. Um, like I said, you know, mentally and emotionally. Um, you know, like I said, I can't do nothing but thank my teammates, um, you know, for lifting up my spirits. You know, just, you know, wanted me to come out and go hard for him, you know, every day. And that's how I feel like that's, you know, honestly how I give back to him. You know, I can't, you know, lead, you know, I can only lead by example, you know, on and off the field, you know, by words, you know, by my actions. And, you know, honestly, I, I'm willing to do anything for my teammates. People on campus don't know you nearly as well as your teammates do. How have the people on campus responded to you since that video came out? Um, honestly, I really don't know um, because you know, I really haven't been paying attention to it. But, you know, at the same time, um, like I said, just lean on the people that's always been there for me. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Joe, what would you today tell yourself in that situation two and a half years ago? Man, honestly, I wouldn't have been in that situation. Like I said, I regret it. You know, every day I got to live with it, got to sleep with it. Um, you know, go on and on. You know, like I said, it, ha it haunts me to this day. I mean, like I said, if I could take it all back, I would. You know, it's, it's no, there's no, you have no, there's no way in that, you know, in that environment, period, or with a person, period, a male or a female, you should get, you know, that, you know, aggressive, whatever. And it's no way you should, you know, hit a female, period. Even a male, but at the end of the day, there's no way you should hit a female, period. And I reacted wrong, and like I said, I apologize to Miss Molitor and, you know, the people that it affected, the fans, you know, her family, my family, and that's it. Were you intoxicated that night? Sir, I don't drink, I don't smoke, you ask anybody, never did it before. Joe, what do you say to the, the people and the criticism that's out there now because of what happened that, that Bob Stoops runs a program that tolerates violence against women? Can you repeat that question, please? What do you say to people out there that are criticizing the program right now that, that Bob Stoops tolerates a program that, that tolerates violence against women in his program? I mean, honestly, I can only speak for myself. Um, never got in trouble like that ever before in my life. Like I said, I own up to it. There's no way I should have ever, you know, put myself in that situation. There's no way I should ever, you know, retaliate like that. And, you know, basically, like I said, I'm grateful I got, a, you know, another opportunity, you know, to prove myself, you know, the person I am. 
and you know just got to get you know people to know me willing to speak as an example in the future to uh, advocacy groups or violence that you know what I mean violence against women groups as uh, Ray Rice for instance is, is openly speaking about his incident I know it's mm -hmm. two different cases but he's trying to you know what I mean use what what he did as an example to do better moving forward and be somewhat of an advocate would you be willing to do that oh yeah I'm definitely willing to do that um, you know I, I think I got an opportunity to do that and you know I'm gonna seize it you know seize the moment you know do whatever I can you know to be that person the bigger person and you know the man that I should be you know and you know just be that influence for young kids you know that's lost out there and you know really in certain situations how I was in you know hopefully I could teach them you know the next time how to react a certain type of way and you know basically just like I said um, you know, teach them. But I'll definitely be willing to, you know, speak to, you know, those type of groups. Have you thought about or talked to? Excuse me. I'm sorry. What's the community service that you did? Um, you know, just going around schools, um, going around little league teams um, like football, basketball. You know, I had, you know, some youth teams back home that I, I spoke to a lot. And, you know, the kids, you know, just them by watching me, you know, growing up. You know, I was so, you know, much of a role model to them, and they all looked up to me, and I'm sure, you know, it was around, you know, I'm sure it was other kids around the world that looked up to me. I made a bad choice that night, and like I said, I apologize to everyone that affected, and, you know, all I ask, you know, for the young kids, you know, is for a second chance, you know, to prove myself and do whatever, you know, what I can to make things right. Just to clarify, that's the community service that you did do? Excuse me? Yes, sir. Joe, in a certain way about a situation when it's happening, but how did you feel as you cleared your head and had to watch the video for the first time? What went through can, you, your mind? can you repeat yourself, please? What went through your mind when you saw the video yourself for the first time after you got away from the situation and cleared your head? I mean, like I said, I mean, I couldn't do nothing but apologize, you know, to Miss Molitor for my actions. I take full responsibility for it. You know, I can't express enough how sorry I am. Um, you know, I'm hoping, you know, one day I could, you know, apologize to her, you know, face to face, you know, and, you know, ask her for my forgiveness. Going back to the parking attendant incident, what would you say to people who say that that shows a pattern of anger management issues and that you haven't learned from what happened? Um, like I said, I mean, it was just a, it was just a, you know, frustration deal, you know, first ticket you ever got, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure a lot of people, you know, I don't know how, you know, people react, but at the end of the day, should have, you know, just took the ticket, you know, smiled and said thank you and walked away. Joe, have you talked about or thought about or talked with anybody else about specifics about some of the stuff like Garen was asking, uh, being a, a spokesman for this issue? Um, yes, I definitely, you know, asked around. Um, you know, we got things set up, you know, for me to do. And, you know, just, I mean, when the time is right, you know, we're going to go ahead, sit down, get things, you know, figured out. And I'm definitely going to, you know, take the time you know, throughout the day, whatever I got to do, you know, to, like I said, you know, hear, you know, make people hear me. Joe, so, uh, Brenda Tracy came to the campus in, in August. How positive of an effect has, was that trip for you here going forward? Oh, man, Brenda, she was awesome. She, she was awesome. Um, she touched a lot of people on our team. Um, it was a sad story, you know, that she went through. Um, and I feel for her. Um, but, you know, I can't do nothing but thank her, you know, for her opportunity or her willingness, you know, to, you know, speak to us and the team and, you know, have basically whereabouts on, you know, problems around the world because it ain't just on campuses. It's just, you know, it's the world. Um, but, you know, Brenda, she did a wonderful job and, you know, I applaud her for that. And thank you. Does it bother you or worry you that no matter what you say or do moving forward, people are always going to know you for what you did in that video? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just here, you know, basically to, you know, ask people, you know, for me, you know, to get a second chance. I mean, like I said, I apologize, you know, again to Miss Molitor, you know, the, you know, her family, the people I affected, fans. Um, around the football world and, you know, I ask for your forgiveness and, you know, hopefully I could, you know, get a second chance from you guys. Have you attempted to reach out to her and 
attempt to apologize to her personally like you said you want to do? Yes, I, I actually wanted to um, do that, but like I said, um, with the you know the things going on and you know cases um, just wasn't the right time. You said you have no timeline for what you're going to do next year. You haven't made that decision yet. Correct. But do you have a timeline for when you're going to make that decision, or can you assess what factors will weigh on your mind as you do? I mean, like I said, I'm really not focused, you know, on the NFL at all right now. Um, I got things I got to do here, you know, in Oklahoma. Um, I got a team, you know, we got to prepare, you know, and get ready for this game. Um, and that's pretty much about it. On Wednesday, Coach Dooms said that uh, nowadays that that punishment of just a year suspension wouldn't be enough. What did, what did you think about that, and have you talked to him about it? Um, honestly, I didn't hear or see Coach Stoops' press conference. Um, like I said, I can only thank him for the second chance he gave me the first time. You know, um, you know, and I appreciate it. And I'm doing everything I can, you know, to you know be a better person, um, better teammate, and you know, better citizen, you know, around campus and around the world. Did you expect that there would be a, quite a bit of an outroar when this tape finally got out, especially last week when you're determining when to uh, make it public? Can you repeat that again? Please? Did you expect that there would be this kind of national uh, attention toward this video when it came out? Um, honestly, I say yes. Um, and I, I understand why. And like I said, I can only apologize to, you know, the people that it affected. And I'm sorry, you know, for what happened that night. You know, like I said, if I could do it all over again, I would. Wouldn't be there. You know, I would have left. And like I said, um, to Miss Molitor. I apologize, and you know I, I, um, I'm asking for your forgiveness. You got this under record, and you have a certain level of fame. You're probably going to make a lot of money in your life. But how prepared are you to possibly be a target for people as you go out? And, and, you know. um, honestly, I'm not that type of person to just go out all the time. Um, you know, when people see me, um, you know they show love, and I show love right back. Um, and that, but that's just me. I mean, I don't know about other people, but, you know, like I said, when people go out and make their way, you know, to greet me, you know, tell me hello, I'm always, you know, you know, doing the right things. Hi, how you doing? Um, you know, basically, you know, having conversation. I've always been, you know, a people person, you know, to have a conversation with them. Um, and that's pretty much how I go about things. After you went through, you know, the media day at the Orange Bowl last year, how hard did that make it that you still couldn't apologize? You still couldn't be here doing what you're doing today? Man, honestly, it sucked. Um, knowing that I couldn't really say too many things at the Orange Bowl. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I was young. Um, like I said, I still was advised, you know, to keep my mouth closed. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, right now, I'm here. And, you know, like I said, I apologize to Ms. Molitor. Is there any plan of sitting down with your attorneys and saying, look, I have to be able to say something as opposed to just being silent? Well, I mean, I actually took the initiative, you know, to go to them and tell them, like, man, like, I got, I, I mean, this this got to be a day where it comes to where, you know, I make my apology. You know, it's not that I wasn't hiding nothing, you know. I've been wanting to say something, but at the end of the day, you know, I was just doing what I was asked. When did you do that? When did you when did you go to them and say this needs to happen? Um, this it's been a while, you know, ever since pretty much my being back in football, really. Has any part of your counseling included anger management classes? Excuse me. Has any part of your counseling included anger management? Or is this like a mix up, really? I said it's like a mix up, really. Going back, do you think you deserved a second chance? Um, you know, like I said, I mean, from Coach Stoops, I mean, I'm grateful, you know, that I got a second chance with him, my teammates, um, you know, the university, and, you know, the people that, you know, is here for me. And, you know, I appreciate, you know, them for giving me a second chance. And, you know, I'm just here, you know, to hope I can get a second chance from everybody else. Joe, you ever second guess your decision right right Excuse now? Me. If you could speak to Ms. Molitor today, what would you say? Um, honestly, you know, I really say that, you know, I, I really apologize. You know, I can't express enough how sorry I am. Um, 
I, I really am sorry. I apologize. I mean, like I said, I, I can't express enough how sorry I am, and you know, just for her to forgive me. Joe, have you ever, have you ever second guessed your decision to stay here instead of transferring? Um, honestly, I did, but at the end of the day, I wasn't gonna run from you know what happened. Um, I thought it was only right, you know, to stick by. You know, Coach Stoops, because, you know, when he came to my parents' house, you know, he told them he was going, you know, have me, you know, in his corner. And he's going, you know, you know, protect me like I'm one of his. And he did that to everybody on our team. And, you know, when you make a commitment, you know, you stick with it. And, you know, like I said, I'm only grateful, you know, the second chance that Coach Stoops gave me. And I'm, you know, trying to do everything I can, you know, to be the best person I am and the best, you know, teammate I am. All right, thanks, Joe.